and to the budding artist who uses bold colors to bring her paintings to life. Zainab Isa is largely self-taught, but you wouldn't know it by looking at her artworks. Replete with bright hues and abstract shapes, her art showcases the richness and diversity of Northern culture. There's also a fantastical element in her paintings. She's inspired by the concept of surrealism, um, energies and abstract, as well as the connectedness of the human experience. And I'm glad to say that Zainab Isa is in the studio with me. Good to have you here, Zainab. Hello. Yeah, and then I've seen um, these, your paintings, yes. uh, about conception and all of that. And yes. I just want you to take us through the driving uh, inspiration behind all of this concept. Okay, firstly, um, I would say my name is Zainab Isa, and I'm also called The Sequence. Interesting. So, yes, um, my inspiration and my muse towards painting is more of energy and um, colors. So I practice mostly in colors. So I connect through colors and energies because colors do have meanings and you do have um, feelings always towards we human beings. So I try as much as possible to predict the information that what color gives us and I put it more in a surrealist way. So sometimes um, based on subconscious and our conscious mind, the things that we come about. So with our subconscious mind, it gives us so much energy and it so much creates a lot of things in us. So bringing it out also, and also in the connective way through colors is really important so that I can give people the pop of culture and the pop of colors and how they can connect to their emotions. And uh, it's more of like trying to create uh, some arts that helps with you know the healing process because i've seen lots of very bright exactly. colors that so send deeper meaning it's a therapeutic thing yeah. actually colors are therapeutic it mm. helps people mentally and physically so even though in the morning when you wake up um the mood that you're in so with those um, effects of colors the clothes that you wear it affects your emotions because subconsciously you don't even know sorry consciously you don't even know but subconsciously these are your feelings and it makes you put clothes that are well connected to your emotions and um how has the acceptability been like especially with a lot of nigerians not so much interested in well, they said it's just it's just something for the rich or well to do or people who I mean, you know well, just have money to waste no that's what some of them actually say yes but basically, the thing is that people don't want to accept it, but um, art is more of a luxurious thing. So it's not everybody that have to have it or want it, but it's something that based on interest or what it gives you. It's just like luxurious cars and phones. There's some phones that are way, way, way expensive, and you buy it, and the next day again, it gets down. But with art, it always goes up. It always goes up. There's worth in it. So if our people can also see that art is also a luxurious thing, and also it can give you financial benefit in the future, that I want people to focus on art and see its importance because here it's really, really, really draining. Yeah, yes. I mean, and then you are self-taught. So just <laughs> tell us about that. I mean, you just okay. woke up and started painting on your own or no. you drew inspiration from certain artists? Or? I had the talent already since when I was young. I was making comics. That was basically what I was doing. So I read comics and I was making comics and it became my bedtime story because when going to bed, I read them. So I drew very deep into it. So before it was just pencil and barrel. So um, with time, I now knew that um, a lot of you humans go through a lot of things. Um, there's depression, you know, there's anxiety, there's mental illness, and it needs color. Color is art, color is life, and yeah, color is nature. Yeah, I mean, like there's this one, um, Pleasure, the Fireworks of Joy. I saw lots of yellow, red, blue. Being mixed exactly. Into. What exactly were you trying to depict in that? that? That basically is about the pleasure of life and the happiness it gives you from drinking your sip of coffee, you know, drinking water, you know, there's this excitement and this satisfaction that you have. So that is the deep joy that it brings you. So that's why um, uh, fireworks uh, oh, and pleasure oh, okay. is there. And um, in Northern Nigeria, we haven't had so much um, of uh, strong artists. We've had some traditional people who do stuff that it's art related, but I don't know how the acceptability is like the reception, I mean. Okay, the reception is really low and quite, let's say, very blurred. It's not as direct as um, we want it to be because there's a lot of concentration in other places, especially in this art. So when we see it, we don't take full concentration and acceptance in it. We just believe it's something. Yeah, but, but why don't you approach maybe state governments or individuals to display these paintings in public buildings? If it, and was, um, if it was approachable and easy, I believe that art also in um, northern Nigeria is going to be really bizarre and quite open there. But it's really hard because 
the concentration in art is very limited. And you can see even ministries of art and culture, it's not like they're quite pronounced because this is something that also can help the country also um, econ economically. And it's also like um, based on tourist, tourism, you know, people come in to see Europe. So if we can just concentrate in that really mainly, it's going to be really important, but we don't. And okay. I just don't know why we don't just go into this art form. Yeah, and I saw this uh, other one, Cosmic Euphoria. What exactly were you trying to aim at? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, my art is basically on energy, you understand? So energy, Cosmic Euphoria is more of the vastness of space. So um, like to me, everything is um, nature, um, art, it's, it's just natural and original. So if we can just concentrate and see our nature and our environment so much and appreciate it, so it's very important because we connect with nature. We connect with nature and when we're gone, we go to nature, we become nature. So this is something we really need to take into concern. And euphoria is more of um, space, the beauty of space. And yeah, I mean, I, li I really love space, arts yes, and walks and all of that. Yeah, and that our really planet wild, and how actually. it connects to us and the beauty of also planet because each planet do have its own unique style. Okay, as we try to round off this conversation, yes. I just want you to talk about um, acceptability of your works beyond the north and then the entire country and then uh, globally. Okay, um, first of all, I would like people to honestly calm down and be themselves because art is something that you express yourself. They call it craze. So it's something that you're going beyond the box so that other people can appreciate the kind of nature and the kind of gift you give to people. So if we can just calm down and come back to our bases, let's not go far ahead. Let's just start with ourselves yeah. so that we can experience and, you know, explore our different v abilities. Very interesting yes. indeed. And one would want to ask, uh, yes. what next for you? Oh, for me now, quite right, because um, I'm doing a lot of things. I'm doing therapeutic art, and I'm also trying to gather um, how I can exhibit next day again. I want to try in Lagos or maybe international, because so also I can just gather a lot of audiences and see how um, beauty in art can be. Well, we can only just wish you the best, thank and you we so hope much. you get more exhibitions to showcase thank your you so work of art. Uh, we must thank you so much for joining us. Uh, that's how it's been for this edition of the Arise interview. Do join us again tomorrow from me and the entire team here in Abuja. Goodbye and thank you for watching.